Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to evaluate this very nice expression. Cube root of 77 plus 20 times root 13 plus cube root of 77 minus 20 times root 13. So let's start. First we suppose that this expression is equal to x and this is equal to y. Let x is equal to cube root of 77 plus 20 times root 13. And we suppose that y is equal to cube root of 77 minus 20 times root 13. Now, if we take a cube of both sides of this equation, this implies that x cubed is equal to 77 plus 20 times root 13. And if we take cube of both sides of this equation, this implies that y cubed is equal to 77 minus 20 times root 13. And we add these two equations, this will become x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 77 plus 20 times root 13 plus 77 minus 20 times root 13. Now this negative 20 times root 13 will be cancelled out with this positive 20 times root 13. And we are left with x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 77 plus 77 will become 154. Let's call this equation equation 1. Now we multiply this equation by this equation. This will become x times y is equal to cube root of 77 plus 20 times root 30 times cube root of 77 minus 20 times root 13. Now this will become x times y is equal to cube root of 77 plus 20 times root 13 times 77 minus 20 times root 13. X, x times y is equal to by using this algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This will become cube root of 77 squared minus 20 times root 13 squared. Next, x times y is equal to cube root of this is 77 squared is 5929 minus this 20 squared is 400 times this root 13 squared is 13. Next, x times y is equal to cube root of 5929 minus 400 times 13 will become 5200. Zero, zero. This will become xy is equal to cube root of 729. Next, xy is equal to cube root of 729 is 9. Let's call this equation equation 2. We recall equation 1. Equation 1 is uh, x cubed plus uh, y cubed is equal to 154. Equation 1 is uh, 
x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 154. This is equation 1. Now we use this algebraic identity x plus y whole cubed is equal to x cubed plus y cubed plus 3 times xy times x plus y. In this identity, we replace this x cubed plus y cubed with this 154 and we replace this xy with this 9. So, this will become x plus y whole cube is equal to 154 plus 3 times 9 times x plus y. x, x plus y whole cubed is equal to 154 plus 3 times 9 will become 27 times x plus y. Now, we suppose that this x plus y is equal to t. Let x plus y is equal to t. So, this equation will become t cube is equal to 100 54 plus 27 times t. Now, we move these two terms to the left hand side. This will become t cubed minus 27 times t minus 154 is equal to 0. Now, this is a cubic equation and if we divide this constant 154 by the coefficient of this t cubed 1, 154 divided by 1 is equal to 154. And factors of 154 are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 7, plus minus, plus minus 11 plus minus 14 plus minus 22 and uh, plus minus uh, 77 and itself uh, plus minus 154. If we check this value t is equal to 7 in this equation t is equal to 7 then this will become 7 cubed is uh, 343 minus 27 times 7 is 189 minus 154 is equal to 0 in this 343 minus 189 is 154 minus 154 and this is equal to 0 it means that t is equal to 7 is a solution and t minus 7 is a t minus 7 is a factor of this equation. So, to find the other factor we use synthetic division. We write the coefficients of this equation. Coefficient of t cube is 1. Since there is no term with the t squared, we write here 0 and coefficient of t is uh, negative 27 and constant is uh, negative 154. Since uh, 7 is a solution, so we divide by 7. This one comes down as it is and 1 times 7 is uh, 7. 0 plus 7 is uh, 7. 7 times 7 49. Negative 27 plus 49 will become 22. 22 times this 7 positive 154 and this negative 154 plus 154 is 0. So, the first factor is this t minus 7 t minus 7 and the second factor is 1 t squared plus 7 times t plus 22. Second factor is t squared plus uh, 7 times t plus uh, 22 is equal to 0. 
from here into this expression t minus 7 is equal to 0 or this expression t squared plus 7 times t plus 22 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 7. From this equation we see that the discriminant delta that is equal to b squared minus 4ac is less than 0 or greater than 0. This will be equal to b is 7, so this will become 7 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 22. This is equal to 7 squared is 49 minus 4 times 1 times 22, 88. And 49 minus 88 is equal to negative 39. So, the discriminant also called delta is less than 0. No real solutions can be found from this equation. So, we accept only this value of T7. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus y is equal to T and x is equal to the first expression and the y is equal to the second expression. We have supposed that x plus y is equal to t. So, this will become x plus y is equal to 7. Since the first expression is equal to x, so cube root of 77 plus 20 times root 13 plus cube root of 77 minus 20 times root 13 is equal to 7. This is the final answer.